Calvin, Michelle, Sue and Roger, the Goom family from Surrey, and they're playing Dean, Brian, Marlene, Pat and Roy, the Needle family from Southampton. And here is your host, Les Dennis. Smiling, Les Dennis walks out onto the stage wearing a blue and grey pattern jacket, deep pink shirt and a green tie. Thank you. Thank you and good evening. Glad you could join us tonight. We're celebrating here on Family Fortunes because this is our 10th edition. We've reached double figures at last. Woo! And the audience is still going woo! After 10 shows. OK, this is the game show, as you know, where we have done a survey of 100 people nationwide from all walks of life, from the four corners of the British Isles, and we have their answers on our computerised board. We ask our families to match those answers with the chance tonight of winning our big money game, which stands at £1,000. <laughs> they nearly forgot tonight. <laughs> we thought they'd already done it with the celebration. Woo! OK, let's get straight on and meet our families. Les joins the Goom family, who shakes the head of the family by the hand. We've got the Goom family. Hello, Roger. Hello, Les. How are you? Nice Hi, to see you. you. Where have you come from? We've come from Burr Heath and Epsom. Burr Heath, near Epsom. Near Epsom. Oh, near the race ground. Near the race ground. So, so. here we are, at the starting gate, <laughs> and Roger is going to introduce us to the family, and he's off! <laughs> this is Sue, my wife. Hello, Sue. We're over the first fence, and we're going on to the next one. Calvin, my son. Calvin, his son, and that's Calvin's going into the next row. We're over the fence. Mark's yes, my nephew. Mark. And there's Mark, the nephew, and it's Mark, and we're going down now. Who's the next person in the family? Michelle's the last one. Michelle, as we reach the car, and Michelle is the winner. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Good family. <laughs> Roger, the Goom family, that's an unusual name. Not, not Goon, as in Neddy's oh, Goon. Yeah. <laughs> the Goom family, where does the name that's come right. from? We believe it originates in Spain. Yeah, really? Yeah. Going back as far as the Spanish Armada? The Armada, yeah, it's dropped oh. off in the Armada. Great. <laughs> Swam up the north coast. Yeah. <laughs> and got to you. Uh, I won't tell you what happened next. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Sue, hello, Sue. Hello, nice Les. to meet you. You nice brought a little you. mascot, look. A little mascot. What, what's it called? It's the Sylvanian family little bunny. The Sylvanian family little bunny? Yes. It's like Blockbusters, this, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> hello, welcome to Blockbusters. I've got the cards. <laughs> and we have the families. <laughs> <laughs> it's what? our little daughter, Rebecca's, and she asked us to bring it on. Oh, lovely. There you, you go, Rebecca, your little mascot's there. No, I'm not... <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Sue, what do you do for a living? I'm the manageress of the Gatwick staff shop. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. the oh, I hate flying. I'm not frightened of flying, I'm frightened of crashing. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it when you sit in there and they say, Would the last passengers make their way to the final departure lounge? The final departure lounge? <laughs> and then you walk through a gate that says terminal. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you too. Hiya, Calvin. Please. What do you do? I'm a computer consultant. Oh, you're a computer consultant. So if we have any troubles, which touch wood we haven't had so far in, in ten shows with our board, you'll be able to help us out? Oh, I should think so, yes. Because uh, our board very often does go wrong, don't you, board? <laughs> 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 Clever clogs. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, nice to see you, Calvin. Mark. Hello. What do you do? I'm a flight dispatcher at Gatwick Airport. You're at Gatwick Airport as, as well? well? Yes. So you handle all the baggage? Uh, yes, I do. Here's the guy we've all wanted to get. <laughs> you know when you stood there and it's going round and round and round and yours doesn't come, he's behind going... <laughs> 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 They're going on holiday, I've got their bags. <laughs> nice to see you, Mark. Michelle. Hiya, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. You work for Price Waterhouse, is it? Yes, that's right. And it says here that you were sent on a course to find out what you were doing. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you know what you were doing? I knew, yeah, but it was what you were supposed to be doing. Oh, <laughs> what you were to do you? <laughs> you were probably doing what we believe you do quite a lot, impressions. Uh, Yes, well, yeah, she's yes. an impressionist. She's a she's a secret impressionist, and you do Rick from the Young Ones. I tell you what, I'll do. Uh... Hello, my name's <laughs> Vivian, and I'm really, really alternative, and this is Rick. I'm not going to have a really good time. <laughs> hey. Michelle Coyley bows after her impromptu performance. Okay, that's the Goon family. Let's go and meet the Needle family. Les joins the Needle family, stood behind their lectern at the other side of the stage. The Needle family, Roy, hi. hi. Where have you come from? Uh, Southampton. Southampton? Yes. Oh, great. Introduce us to your family. This is my sister, Pat. Hi, Pat. My sister, Marlene. Hello, Marlene. My brother, Brian. Hi, Brian. And Marlene's son, Dean. 
Dean, hiya. Nice to see you. So you come from Southampton. What do you do in Southampton? I'm a docker. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a docker. Because I come from Liverpool, where we've got a lot of dockers, you know, and they've got these unusual names. They give them different names, the dockers. Like, there's a fellow called Wendy. He's <laughs> <laughs> always saying, when do we get paid? <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you, Roy. Hiya, Pat, what do you do? Just a housewife. Just a housewife. You shouldn't say just a housewife. It's a very important job these days. Well, it, it always has been. But I've got down here that when you went on your first driving lesson, you drove out of your Not my drive. driving lesson. It wasn't your driving lesson. No. I was instructing. You were instructing? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, but somebody else drove out of the drive. Marlene! <laughs> you drove out of the drive across the road and smashed into the house <laughs> on the other side. Was it a write-off? Oh. The car was, not the house. Yeah, not the kitchen. <laughs> You're a good instructor, then. You haven't done it since. <laughs> Marley. Hello. I've also got here that you're unlucky. <laughs> And you've not, apart from actually smashing into that house, you've actually been knocked down three times. <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> How did that happen? I kept walking out on the road. <laughs> you shouldn't do that. Walking out on the road is very dangerous. You're likely to get knocked down. Nice to see you, Marlene. Brian, hiya. What do you do? I'm a welder. You're a welder? Yes. And you, um, you went moonlighting. I don't mean, hey, Bruce Willis moonlighting, hey. I'm talking about you went, You went, actually did a job for a friend, didn't you? Yes, an ex-friend now, I think. Yeah, an ex-friend. <laughs> I'm not surprised because you were welding and you set the friend's car alight. Yes. <laughs> what did you do? I put it out quickly. <laughs> oh, I didn't charge him. You didn't charge no. him? <laughs> I should hope you didn't. Dean, hiya. Uh, what do you do for a living? I'm a property developer. Property developer? <laughs> Dean is a property developer there in Southampton. How nice. What, what do you actually do then, property developing? It says that you're converting barns into luxury houses. Yeah. What do um, you do? Push the wheelbarrow. <laughs> 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 property developer. <laughs> That's the family's met. Let's get straight on and play Family Fortunes. The heads of both families join us at the central lectern. OK. Roy, shake of the hands with Roger, and then hands okay. behind your back so that you start in exactly the same position. I'll open the cards, that would be a good idea, and tell you that we've surveyed 100 people, and the top seven answers are on the board for you to reveal. Name an item of clothing you put on in the morning. Roger. A shirt. A shirt. Roger puts on a shirt in the morning. Yeah, I thought it would be there, but there are four more popular ones. Roy, can you find one? The underwear. The underwear. You put on your underwear first. It's the top answer, pants or knickers. <laughs> Good job you didn't say knickers, Roy. You're going to play or pass? Play. Right. Play, OK. Rejoin your family. Right, I'll give you the uh, question again and just tell you that there's no conferring for you, but of course the Goon family can confer. An item of clothing you put on in the morning? My bra. Your bra. OK. Bra. Well done. Good answer. And remember, when we ask this question, we're talking about 100 people and they're all, of all sexes, so it might not necessarily mean you personally. Suspender belt. Oh. A suspender belt. <laughs> That's you personally, is yeah. it? Right. Just in case you get knocked down. <laughs> <laughs> A suspender belt. <coughs> no, one life lost. Brian. Socks. Socks. <laughs> yes, socks is there, and it's actually won you a prize. Let's reveal it on the board. It's won you a family-sized trailer tent. Congratulations, yeah. Brian. Thank you. Well done. There he shakes his hand. Dean, an item of clothing you put on in the morning? Slippers. Slippers. Yes, well done. I wouldn't have thought that was there, but, it, but well done. Roy? Uh, your pants. Your pants. You've got the yeah, underpants. Yes. You've got the suspender belt <laughs> and your bra. Not you personally, I mean yeah. everybody. <laughs> Am I now looking for the trousers? <coughs> no. You wouldn't believe that. Two lives lost of the Goon family have got a chance to steal. Pat? Um, dressing gown. Dressing gown. Yes, well done. Save that one life that's left. Marlene? Mm. Shoes. Shoes. <coughs> no, so the Goon family have a chance to steal the money. We say skirt. Skirt. No, so Roy, you've won the money. Congratulations. Well, when we surveyed 100 people and asked them what they put on in the morning, the sixth most popular answer was... ..a vest. OK, let's get straight on and play the second round of Family Fortunes. 
The next two contestants join Les at the central lectern. That's it, shake your hands there. Right, 100 people have been surveyed, and this time the top five answers are on the board. Name something dogs do. <laughs> Pat, wag their tail. Wag the tails. Dogs wag the tails. <laughs> they do, but it's not there, Sue. Sue struggles to think of an answer. Something dogs do. Bark. Bark. Dogs <laughs> bark. <laughs> Top answer. Well done. Do you want to play or pass? Pass. Pass it over. OK, Pat, rejoin your family. And remember, there's no conferring. Marlene. We. Oui. Something dogs do. <laughs> <laughs> dogs. <laughs> pass water. <laughs> That's what we say in Southampton. <laughs> no, they, they do. Cut the leg up on trees. OK, Brian. Walk. Walk. Dogs walk. <laughs> no, so two lives lost. Maybe the Goom family have a chance to steal. Dean. Wine. They whine. <laughs> wine we're looking for. <laughs> so the Goom family have a chance to steal if you can find one of those missing answers. Uh, we say pant. Pant. No, so again. Congratulations, you've won the money. Les shakes the head of the Needle family by the hand. I'm glad you only said we. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look. Answer number five is beg. Answer number four is guard. Answer number three is sniff. And answer number two is scratch. <laughs> Let's get straight on and play Family Fortunes round three. The next two contestants join Les and shake hands. Calvin, meet Marlene. 100 people surveyed. The top five answers are on the board. Name something you can order, large or small. Calvin. Sweets. No, it isn't there. So, Marlene. Chips. No, no. So, Calvin, any other idea? Fish. Fish. Fish, Calvin thinks. No, I think... Potatoes. <laughs> A bag of potatoes, yeah. a large one, a small one. <laughs> bag of potatoes, Marlene wants. <laughs> no, so rejoin your families and we bring the next two members of the family up. So Mark and Brian can join me. Mark and Brian join Les at the lectern. Her hands behind your back. A hundred people surveyed, name something you can buy or order, large or small. <laughs> Brian. Clothes. Clothes. <laughs> Clothes, the third most popular answer, but there are two more popular ones. Mark. Ice cream. Ice cream. Yes, it is the fifth most popular answer, but you have control of the board. What do you want to do, play or pass? Pass. Pass it over. OK, Mark, rejoin your family. And remember, no conferring. Michelle, as we come to you, and we're asking for somebody you can order, large or small. A car. Michelle thinks a car. <coughs> no, one life lost. So, Roger, any ideas on that? Hamburger. Hamburger. No, so two lives lost. So the Needle family maybe have a chance to steal. Sue? Coke. It's not an easy one, this, is it? No. A, a large or small drink? So, yes. Drink of some... A large or small drink? <laughs> Drinks, well done. Well done. It's the top answer and it's actually won you a prize as well. OK, let's reveal on the board. You have won a family-sized food hamper plus wine. Thank you. Congratulations, Thank you. Sue. <laughs> Calvin? Shoes. Shoes. No, so the Needle family maybe have a chance to steal. Roy. Hat. A hat. <coughs> no, so well done, Roger. Congratulations. Roger Goon looks pleased with himself. £54 at last on the board. Right, I'll just reveal those answers. The fourth most popular answer is... A meal, a large or small meal. Number two is... Bread. It is indeed bread. OK, that's our final question in the first half. We're going to have a commercial break. Join us in a couple of minutes when we'll be playing for double money. Family Fortunes, end of part one. Back soon. <laughs> Family Fortunes, part two. Stays the Needle family from Southampton have £160 in the bank and, of course, the trailer tent that they won. And the Goom family from over there in Epsom have won the food and wine hamper and they have £54 in the bank. Quite a difference between the scores, but that can all change now because we're playing for double money. 
Moving graphics on a computerized board with double money. Okay, who's going for double money? Michelle and Dean. That's it. Come and join me for the double money game where all the answers are now worth twice the price that they were before. Okay? 100 people surveyed and we're looking this time for the top four answers to be revealed on the board. Name a winemaking country. Michelle. France. France. Uh, well, the mecca, the vin de France. France! <laughs> top answer. Play or pass? We're playing. You're going to play? OK, rejoin your family and remember there's no conferring, but of course, needle family, you should confer. Roger. Germany. German wines, we're looking for. Yes, it's the third most popular answer. Sue. Italy. Italy. Let's have a look if Italy's there. Italy. That's a good answer. Calvin. <laughs> Spain. A winemaking country. If Spain is that missing answer, you've won the money in the bank. Let's have a look if Spain is that missing answer. Well done. You want a prize as well? Let's have a look at it. It's a small sized snooker table. Not too small. <laughs> How's about that? Smith. How's about Lovely. that? Gals and gals. Yeah, yeah. Well done. So, there are no answers to reveal, and we go on to play the second game of Big Money. Roger and Roy join Les for the next game. Roger and Roy, right. Double money question. We served a, surveyed 100 people and the top four answers are on the board. Name an expensive present a woman would like to receive. Roger. A ring. A ring. A ring of some kind. <laughs> Jewellery. Yes, it's the top answer. Do you want to play or pass? Roger looks at his family. We'll to play. You're going to play. Right, rejoin your family and remember no conferring. Sue, an expensive present a woman would like to receive. A car. A car. We're looking now for a car. Yes, well done. It's there. Calvin. Fur coat. Fur coat. Let's have a look if fur coat is there. It is indeed. So we're just short of one answer and there are still three lives left. Mark. A holiday. Holiday. <coughs> no, so one life lost. Michelle. Oh. No, sorry. Right, so two lives lost. So, Needle Family Confer, you have a chance to maybe steal. Roger. Roger looks at the answers on the board. A new house. A new house. <coughs> no, so, Needle Family, if you have an answer, you're going through to the big money game. Perfume. If perfume is that missing answer, you're playing for big money. Let's have a look. It is indeed. Congratulations. The Needle Family are overjoyed. So... Les shakes Roger Goon by the hand. Sadly... We had to lose the Goon family, but of course, Roger, you're taking back with you the souvenir photograph, the famous Family Fortunes photo taken of us all this afternoon. Take that with our compliments. Seven. And Thank Sue, you. congratulations, Thank well you. done. Mm. And Calvin, well done, congratulations. Mark, well done. Michelle, well done. Thank you. But of course, you're also taking with you that food hamper with the wine, the snooker table, and £248. Ladies and gentlemen, the Goon family. The Needles join in the applause for the Goon family. Congratulations, Roy. Thank you, Who's playing the big money game? Do Pat and Dean. Pat and Dean, would you like to join me now? Front and centre, please. The lights dim as Pat and Dean join Les in a spotlight at the front of the stage. Hey, Pat, you're playing first. So, Dean, you go and sit in our soundproof booth so that you can't hear any of the answers that Pat gives us. Right, I'll explain the rules. You have 15 seconds to answer five questions, but the time doesn't start until I finish asking the first question. OK? Yes. Can we have 15 seconds on the clock, please? Name a kind of soup. Vegetable. A British coin. Penny. A girl's name beginning with the letter M. Mandy. Part, part of a hi-fi set. The needle. Something a burglar might use or wear. Jemmy. What's that answer? Jemmy. <laughs> Let's have a look. Right. We need 200 points between the two of you to win that £1,000 to add to the £326 you already have in the bank and that trailer tent that you're taking back to Southampton as well. I asked you to name a kind of soup. You said vegetable, our survey said. Four. I thought that was a good answer, but only worth four. I then asked you to name a British coin. You said a penny, our survey said. Twenty, twenty-four. I then asked you to name a girl's name beginning with the letter M. You said... 
Mandy, our survey said. <coughs> no, because of course it's a, it's a shortened name for Amanda, isn't it? Oh, I see. Isn't it Mandy? I then asked you to name a part of a hi-fi set. I love this answer you gave us. <laughs> From the Needle family, you said... Oh, no. <laughs> needle. <laughs> our survey said... <laughs> five. And then asked you to name something a burglar might use or were. You said... A jemmy. What's a jemmy? <laughs> crowbar. A crowbar, OK. You said a jemmy. Our survey said... <laughs> 23. Well done. <laughs> 52. OK, we join your family, Pat. And we'll bring Dean back. Pat's answers are wiped off the board. OK. Sit. Dean bounding back. Your Auntie Pat Dean has scored 52, so you need 148. But it's a high score, but you can do it. All right? I'm going to ask you the same five questions I've already asked Pat, and you have 20 seconds to answer. If you duplicate any of those answers, you'll hear this sound, and I'll ask you for another answer. Okay. Can we just remind the viewers at home of the answers that Pat gave me, and can I have 20 seconds on the clock, please? Ready? Mm. Name a kind of soup. Tomato. A British coin. Pound coin. A girl's name beginning with the letter M. Marlene. Part of a hi-fi set. Stereo. Something a burglar might use or were. Mask. Okay. Les puts a reassuring arm round Dean as they turn and look at the board. Right. We need 148. But you gave us good answers there. I asked you to name a kind of soup. You said... Tomato, our survey said... 41. Well done. It's the top answer. That's 93. We now need 107 from four answers. I asked you to name a British coin. You said... A pound coin. Our survey said... 29. It was, in fact, again, the top answer worth 29. So what do we need now? We need 78. OK. I asked you to name a girl's name beginning with the letter M. You said... Marlene. <laughs> We've got a Marlene in the family, so... You said Marlene, our survey said... <coughs> nothing there. Sorry, Marlene, about that. But the top answer was Mary and was worth 39 points. OK. I asked you to name a part of a hi-fi set. You said... Stereo. Our survey said... <coughs> 41! <coughs> Quite done. That's good. I thought that might have been a, a low-scoring one. What have we got now? 163, so you need 37. 37 from the final answer. I asked you to name something a burglar might use or were. You said mask. If mask is worth... What do we need? 30... What is it? 37 or more? You've won the big money. You said mask. Our survey said... 32. Oh. Oh. Five short. Never mind. Look, we have doubled that 195. We'll add it to the £326 you've already won, which gives you an evil family fortune of £716 and a trailer tent. It's not all that bad. Rejoin the family. Congratulations. Well done. Well done. Congratulations, Brian Marley. Join us soon on Family Fortune when the jackpot will be at £2,000. Bye. The end credits roll. Play for prizes next on Challenge when we join Bruce Forsyth for The Price is Right. And then we step up to the hockey and give it our all, because who doesn't want a speedboat? It's Bullseye, weekdays at five.